Elon Musk and Ben Shapiro express concerns over the implications of the diversity, equity, and inclusion ideology, describing it as potentially leading to discrimination based on race, sex, and sexual orientation. Shapiro draws historical parallels with anti-Semitic conspiracy theories, emphasizing the dangers of ideologies that categorize individuals solely by their group identity. Don't miss. How do Elon Musk and Ben Shapiro view the concepts of diversity, equity, and inclusion? What connection does Ben Shapiro draw between diversity ideologies and historical anti-Semitism? What societal events do Musk and Shapiro refer to as a significant wake-up call? Out of 330 million Americans, tiny percentage of the population. Uh, but th that ideology that, that the Jews are an oppressor class matches up very nicely and very closely uh, with what is a conspiracy theory. Not that ideology that the Jews are an oppressor class matches up very nicely and very closely with what is a conspiracy theory. To show support for the Jewish community, it's crucial to tackle the unjust accusations and conspiracy theories they encounter. Speaking out against portraying Jews as oppressors helps combat groundless beliefs, encouraging public empathy that dismisses unfounded allegations. At root, anti-Semitism is a conspiracy theory, and it's a conspiracy theory about power. Anti-Semitism is a conspiracy theory about power. Outlines anti-Semitism not only as a harmful conspiracy theory, but also as a position against discrimination and unfair stereotypes. It refers to individuals trapped in unfounded and dangerous narratives. If you read Nazi literature, the Nazis literally promoted the idea that Jews were, of course, this small caste of people who were running all of the major industries, who were standing behind all world power. But the Nazis literally promoted the idea that Jews were MB, running all the major industries who were standing behind all world power. We condemn historical anti-Semitic propaganda, highlighting the falsehoods promoted by Nazi-backed conspiracy theories. This sheds light on the strength of the Jewish community. Our dedication to truth echoes in the public domain, firmly opposing discriminatory narratives. Is Hitler's suggestion is that it was world Jewry that stood behind Germany's loss in World War I, and then the Allies' unwillingness to make a deal with Germany prior to World War II. And you know, that theory of power and group identity is really ugly, and we see echoes of it today. I mean, the, the diversity, equity, and inclusion ideology that basically suggests that all of society is a vast yeah. pyramid of group identity, and that at the very top are the people who are successful. The diversity, equity, inclusion ideology suggests that all of society is a vast pyramid of group identity, and that at the very top are the people who are successful. Many express concern that ideologies advocating for diversity, equity, and inclusion could foster a socially divisive outlook centered on group identity, contrasting with conservative values and individualism, which triggers opposition. And that those people are exploiting everybody else. And we can tell who's successful by their group identity, not by their level of success, by their group identity. Yes. That matches up incredibly. It syncs up almost a Venn diagram no, circle I, I, with anti-Semitism. Absolutely. It, 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 the diversity and actual inclusion. I mean, you should always be, always be wary of any name that sounds like it could come out of a George Orwell book. Okay. <laughs> That's never a good sign. Um, and uh, because it sounds like, sure, diversity, equity, inclusion, these all sound like nice words. But, but there, what, what it really means is discrimination on the basis of race, uh, sex, and um, sexual orientation, and, uh, and, and it's against merit. Um, and, and thus, I think, is fundamentally anti-Semitic. What it really means is discrimination on the basis of race, sex, and sexual orientation. And it's against merit. And thus, I think, is fundamentally anti-Semitic. Some policies focusing on diversity, equity, and inclusion may have unintended negative effects, particularly when they disadvantage certain benefits. This mirrors a commitment to meritocracy and impartiality in democratic societies. So, um, yeah, um, you know, the I, th I think it was the, the the whole all of the sort of the, the all, all, all of the riots that were in the uh, major cities and college campuses, I think, was uh, a shocking wake up. 
The riots that were in the major cities and college campuses, I think, was a shocking wake-up call. The importance of acknowledging the turmoil caused by riots and urges for genuine empathy towards those who value principles of order and civil engagement. It emphasizes the alignment of this approach with traditionalist beliefs centered around maintaining law and order. Equal to, um, I think, any, any, any sort of civilization or civil-minded person, really. Yeah. The conversation underscores the need for careful consideration of ideologies like diversity, equity, and inclusion to avoid unintended consequences such as discrimination. Musk and Shapiro encourage the public to critically evaluate these ideologies, highlighting potential risks and urging a commitment to merit-based principles. The public is prompted to engage in informed discussions on societal issues and remain vigilant against ideologies that may lead to division and discrimination. In scrutinizing phrases like diversity, equity, inclusion, championed by Elon Musk, one can delve into reflections on the linguistic nuances prevalent in social and left-wing political doctrines. Bean Shapiro's perspective on anti-Semitism, viewing it as a conspiracy theory on Mied, at challenging authority, adds another layer of complexity. Understanding the essence of conspiracy theories and their intertwining with historical ideologies, such as anti-Semitism, poses a considerable challenge. Elon Musk and Ben Shapiro, in their respective viewpoints, scrutinize the critiques surrounding diversity, equity, and inclusion ideologies. This scrutiny aligns with conservative values, raising concerns about potential discrimination and straying from meritocracy-based principles. Musk, for instance, underscores the gravity of riots in major cities and university campuses attributing them to heightened apprehensions about societal upheaval, ideological clashes, and civilization-alarming disturbances. The skepticism voiced by Musk and Shapiro implies perceiving a specific ideology as a potential threat to the foundational values of civilization, often termed a shocking wake-up call. It reflects apprehension regarding discrimination based on race, gender, and sexual orientation, deeming it a breach of meritocracy. This apprehension extends to a profound fear of eroding competency-based principles and its potential impact on social cohesion. What do you think? I promote myself and my videos. Hello, I'm Bong Sim, a Canadian resident of Asian descent. During the day, I work as a professional counselor and at night, I do Uber food delivery. Instead of speaking in my videos, I prefer to express myself through writing. In today's world, speaking the truth can have serious consequences, both for my professional life and personal well-being. That's why I'm choosing to pen down my thoughts and using a platform to share them on my behalf. Some people find my videos uninteresting, too strict, and they even criticize the appearance of the individuals featured, including their tiredness, Asian, or perceived flaws. I understand these concerns, but I genuinely believe in the purpose behind creating these videos. Unfortunately, recent Canadian legislation has resulted in the censorship of free speech and online content, and although Google hasn't explicitly admitted their involvement, I suspect they play a part in it. Despite my efforts to monetize my content on YouTube, I haven't been able to earn any income from it. I've tried three times, and all my attempts were rejected. They turned me down for reasons like lacking creativity, not having a recognizable face, or not having a distinct voice. Nevertheless, I've made several adjustments to my videos, hoping to overcome these challenges. If you share my belief and support what I'm doing, I would genuinely appreciate your backing.